guys, Will here with Into Mobile. This is the HTC Surround, the Windows Phone 7 device from HTC with the speaker, the slide out speaker deck. We just unboxed this sucker. Um, did a little quick hardware overview. What we're going to do is take a look at the software, and uh, I'm going to boot it up there real quick. First time boot up, standard HTC uh, boot up splash screen right there. Um, while we're doing that, I'll take you guys on a little brief hardware tour. Of course, you got the slide out uh, stereo speakers right here from Omaha, Yamaha. And uh, the whole point is they uh, kind of emulate surround sound with SRS Wow audio technology, which you can uh, use this button to toggle different settings. Um, you've got the 3.8 inch capacitive touchscreen display and the Windows Phone 7, the standardized navigation buttons down here. On the top you have the power button, you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the volume control rockers on the right side, the dedicated camera shutter button on the right side as well, the 5 megapixel camera on the back, as well as the LED flash and the micro USB um, uh, cord slot, the port for data and charging, and like it says right here, SRS Wow and Dolby Mobile um, audio technology in this Windows Phone 7 device. This is the HTC Surround. So what happens when you first when you first start up the device, let me turn it off, when you start it up you'll get welcome back. Well, that's because I just turned it off, but this is the setup. What we're gonna do, we have to set up our stuff, terms of service, good, and actually how would you like to configure your Windows Phone? How would you like your Windows Phone configured? And uh, we're just gonna go with recommended just because it's easier that way. Pacific time zone, we could choose Arizona time zone, but we are Pacific, so I'm going to choose Pacific time zone. And I already have a Windows Live ID, so I'm just going to sign in. So notice right here, um, the keyboard actually has a dedicated at and dot com uh, key. That's really cool. To toggle between letters and numbers or slash symbols, you just hit that. You get your numbers up here, your symbols down here. Just toggle real quick. I like the dedicated at and dot com button. Um, excuse the skip in the video. I want to, you know, uh, not show you guys my password. But um, when you hold down the at, oops, when you hold down the at key, you can see that you get well, sorry, not the at key. When you hold down the dot com key, you get a choice of all these different um, domain settings right there. So that's really handy. But, okay, just sign in right there. And it's a lot like signing in with your Gmail, your Google account for an Android phone. You sign in with your Windows Live ID on a Windows phone device and all done. Just like that. Have fun. Exactly. And here it is. This is your Windows start screen. So, just take you guys on a quick uh, software overview. Oh, it's not loaded yet. Now it's fully loaded. What... You, the first thing you're going to get are these uh, text messages that help you set up your Windows Phone. You know, you'll get tips and whatnot to go to uh, um, to use your Windows Phone. You just go to WindowsPhone.com and gives you five tips. Really cool. The front page is default loaded with uh, your phone, your people, which is your contacts, and notice it's constantly updating itself. Actually, it will do more updating. Um, notice that the pictures keep on changing. Once I add more accounts, it'll keep uh, it'll update even more. Your Hotmail. Okay your messaging and notice all the screen animations really slick everything kind of like tiles come tiles come and go and kind of like populate all cool and stuff this is the AT&T Uverse mobile uh, hub which uh, you can use to actually control uh, or access TV shows and stuff like that it's loading it's gonna take a little bit of time here And there you go. The animations, again, are really cool, really slick. Everything's really smooth. It's all about panning. That's what Windows Phone 7 is about. But going back to the, st the start screen, you have your Internet Explorer right here, your Xbox Live integration. So you can pull down games, you know, control your Xbox Live character, all that stuff. And you get your calendar. Again, these screen animations are really nifty. You know, you keep on going. Notice the date keeps changing on top as I scroll down. That's seamless. Or I can go to month mode and take a look specifically by month, you see there, and just swiping through the different months. And going down a little bit further, we have the Zune, the m music and videos, that's uh, where you would get your Zune Pass access, the Marketplace, AT&T Radio, AT&T Navigator, and because this is an HTC phone, we have the HTC Hub, which is basically kind of like a sense, they're, they're ver the only thing that the uh, HTC can do to skin Windows Phone is add this HTC Hub, and that's kind of cool. You get the weather, came in all like, cool right there you saw that you swipe okay so featured apps you swipe it's gonna take us to oh it reloaded swipe to the right oh maybe swipe doesn't do anything to the right oh there it goes yeah so notes 
So this is all first time boot, so it's going to take a little while. Everything's a little laggy still. Okay, so no swipes there, but every app has this this notifications bar down here, which basically is like a, it's a, it's a menu. We can go forward this way, you know, or there we go, applications, and that's all the swipey stuff right there, featured applications, games, all that stuff. Going back, we have even more options. We have settings and about when we do that, and when we hit settings, we go into of course the settings menu, and everything is kind of in plain text. There's no there are no contoured buttons, no real rounded you know bubbly keys or anything like that. Everything is very 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 uh, um, flat text looking, and that's kind of a good thing. It looks. The, the aesthetic is kind of that of a high-end, high-concept uh, print magazine, and it kind of looks like, it feels like that's what you're looking at, using all this sub-pixel rendering that uh, Microsoft built into Windows Phone 7. The text looks super sharp. It's like you're looking at an e-ink display, but you're not, obviously. So this is Windows Phone 7, the new Internet Explorer, loading into mobile.com. We have a bit of a heavy site, so it does take a little time. No, realize that this is over 3G on AT&T in San Francisco, so it does take a little while. But overall, rendering is pretty accurate. You can um, you can actually interact with parts of the with the website as it's loading. I could click these, but then it would take me off the main page, and then I have to wait for it to load again. So I'm not going to really do that. But notice that is our front page. Things are coming in piecewise right now. But yeah, I'm I'm able to scroll more as it's loading more content. Pretty cool. That gives you a quick little idea. Down here, you have your uh, plus star, add to favorites, access your favorites or your bookmarks, and you can actually use different tabs and close tabs with that X right there. If you want to close that tab, I'm just going to X it out. But that's the one I want. So I'm going to go there. Now if I hit that menu button again, we have forward, share page, find on page, pin to start, and settings. Pin to start is kind of cool. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. But you get the idea. And so going back to music and video, see, so since this guy is HTC surround and it's got the slide out speaker, music is all what it's all about here, right? So going into the uh, music and videos here, I'm going to go into my music history. I was playing Far East Movement, so it comes right into here, my musical history. I can swipe over to go to my Zoom Pass. Don't have that set up yet. AT&T Radio works as well. You can go to Video Podcast, Radio Marketplace. But let's just go back here. So what I did was I went to music. I have no artists, no albums. I have no, no songs on here. But what, I'm gonna do, what I did was I went into the, uh, the store, the Marketplace, and I was listening. I was previewing this song. And what that does is it brings this up, and you get a 30-second preview, as you can see. It's like a 99-cent download or a 30-second preview. Okay, I can just hit, hit play right there. It's going to start opening it up, and you'll hear it on the speakers. And what's cool is it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't rotate like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out the kickstand. I'm just going to listen to it like that. Let it do its thing. So there you go. Now, if I want to change the sound profile, I just hit this button right here. I'm just going to close that kickstand, spring load of kickstand. See how it's a little muted when you, the speakers are a little blocked that way, but when you open them up, you can hear everything. N listen for the differences. Oops. So all those different ones, all those different sound profiles in this one little thing. What else is cool? We also have the me. And this this tile is actually going to tie into your Facebook as well as your Windows Live. And it's going to automatically populate your own status updates and your pictures of your friends and, you know, everybody that's on uh, Windows Phone that you're connected to on here, you can see their pictures and all that stuff, so that's cool. And one last thing I want to show you guys is the Marketplace. Second to last thing, actually, let the Marketplace load. And everything, again, this, this side-swiping you know, uh, UI interaction is really, really cool. HTC apps, HTC has their own special apps here that you can look through, okay, and customize your phone, or you go to apps and games. The Marketplace is fully functional right now. It's still kind of... Uh, a little bit in beta, so some of the apps aren't fully developed yet, but everything is pretty much good to go. I'll show you the contacts. This is your people's tile, and when you go into people, what's new? Uh, you got to set it up. Uh, the way you set this up is you set up your Facebook account, and let's do that right now. 
Okay, so we're signing into Facebook, and once you're signed into Facebook, what Windows Phone, what this guy will do is actually start pulling down your data, your pictures, and give you updates on everything. So that's going to take a little time. While we're waiting for that to happen, it'll do it in the background. want to show you what the camera looks like. Hold down the camera shutter button to access the camera. And I know it's a little blasphemous because it's the little Android, but we're going to allow location sharing. We're going to use the Android as kind of a test subject for taking pictures. Hold down halfway to focus. You see how it moved a little bit right there? If I go like that. Okay. Take a picture. And it goes off to the left. Okay. Now if I show you more closely, when I take that picture, I'm going to half press right there. It's focusing. Take the picture and it goes to the left. If you want to check out the pictures, you just slide back to the left. How easily? How easy is that? Oh, so automatically share pictures online. So I'm going to share with friends. Okay, so as you take these pictures, it's going to automatically upload them into your Windows Live SkyDrive. And that's really cool, so I can go through the, 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 different, the different pictures that I've chosen and uh, take a look at it. Um, you can use this plus or minus for zooming. You can't use the volume control rockers. You can only use plus or minus for zooming. Right here, you have the toggle between video and photos. Okay, and here's your settings. So you have scene select, uh, flash effects, resolution, metering mode, flicker adjustment. Um, not, not too in depth on the on the on the customizations on the camera, but it'll do. And like I said, while we're going to show you the camera while I'm waiting for this to load, let's see if it's loaded yet. There we go. It's loaded all my contacts from Facebook. It's loaded all my status updates as well as all my friends' status updates here. It's going to load it soon, but you you get the idea. And if I go to me, I can see only my own status updates and all the good stuff related to my account. And look how it, it notice how it uh, updated with my own avatar, my picture there automatically. So that's a quick little look at the HTC Surround and the Windows Phone 7 interface. Slide up to unlock. Um, Windows Phone 7 software. Oh, sorry, to the right here, one last thing is the uh, where you see all your other apps. And to um, say we want Office, I'm going to hold down on Office. It says pin to start. I'm going to take it to the start. And it goes down there. If I want to move it, I hold it down, and I'm going to put it in that place right there. Tap the screen, and it's locked. So there you go. Quick little look at Windows Phone 7 and the HTC Surround.